Before the Weatherby insulation system can be applied, fixtures and fittings next to the external walls will be taken down, satellite dishes relocated, and downpipes adjusted or temporarily replaced to ensure the walls are protected at all times. The walls are then brushed down to remove any algae or lichen and Weatherby's biocidal wash applied. A base rail is fixed around the perimeter of the house at damp-proof course height to provide a reinforced, level finish for the insulation system, with the solid insulation boards sitting on top of this. Specially designed fixings provide a secure and durable attachment to the walls. The lightweight boards are fitted in a staggered pattern, overlapping on the corners to provide a comprehensive insulation envelope around the building. Additional fixings are required at 300mm centres at the external corners and around openings. As the insulation boards are available in a variety of materials and thicknesses, Weatherby can specify a complete insulation system for a wide range of designs and budgets. If required, a wet fix can be applied to straighten out uneven surfaces, and sill and eaves extenders fitted if existing projections are not of a suitable depth. Once the insulation boards are fully installed, all corners and returns are keyed with a scrim adhesive and PVC reinforced angle beads are lightly embedded in this to give a strong and robust edge around vulnerable areas. The rest of the insulation is then covered in the base coat and an alkali resistant reinforcing mesh is bedded into this, providing an impact resistant layer to the entire facade. Diagonal stress patches are placed at the corners of all openings to ensure comprehensive lateral strength. Once the base coat is dry, a second coat of scrim adhesive is applied, ensuring all the mesh is covered, giving a completely smooth, level surface. When these strengthening layers have fully dried, a primer is painted over the entire house and a silicone render of your choice of colour and texture is applied to give a uniform, weatherproof finish. Removed fixtures and fittings are then reinstated and your house's transformation is complete. Insulation boards are fitted as before, and a layer of scrim adhesive is applied to cover the entire wall with alkali-resistant reinforcing mesh lightly embedded and diagonal stress patches again placed around all openings. A notched trowel then embeds the mesh and forms the base coat of scrim adhesive into furrows to provide a strong fixing for the dash receiver and larger powder-coated galvanised reinforced angle beads are fitted around all corners and returns with temporary fir tree fixings holding these in place. Once the furrowed base coat is dry, a dashing mortar then covers the entire building ready for the final dash finish which is available in a wide range of decorative aggregates with complementary mortar colours to suit. A slightly wider reinforced base rail is fixed around the building at damp proof course level and insulation boards are placed onto this. These boards will only have minimal fixings at this stage and are again fitted in a staggered pattern with overlapping corners. Over these, a profile rigid wire mesh is attached using temporary fir tree fixings. Once the mesh sheeting levels have been checked and finalised, Permanent metal fixings are used to secure both the wire mesh and the insulation boards to the wall to provide a strong and robust external skin. Brick slips, which are available in a wide variety of colours and textures, are then fixed into place. These can be laid in a variety of bonding patterns, including soldier courses, to suit your required design. Pointing mortar is then applied between the brick slips and smoothed to complete the new facade. Weatherby, creating a greener future.